So the quest question asks you a. It says that you received a, a data set in this order, and what you need to do is to create some visuals for this data set and report it. So you will need to create the visuals that are split by year and product. And um, you need to transform the data and make sure that the, you can build the visuals. And you make you should make sure also that the columns are named appropriately for the data and they are the that they contain. And it asks you three actions from the questions. This is actual a typical PL three hundred question, and you might be asked some question like that at exam two. And most of the questions here on the examtopics.com are similar questions to the real, um, the real questions. So let's go and uh, let's try to to create this data set. So I, I have this similar lookalike uh, data set that I have brought here. Here's my data set. So I've created the data set which we have, we have the similar structure of the data set that we had before and uh, we are gonna try the steps and uh, find out which uh, sequence of these steps are uh, the correct one. So one of them is the select department and product and unpivot columns. Let's try it first and see whether it's the correct one. Let's unpivot them. So to unpivot the the data, you you should go to the transform, and then from the transform, we're gonna go to the um, unpivot part. So here, the unpivot columns. And um, what is asked? Does it asks? Does it say to get the, some specific one or uh, sales department product? Select department and product. Okay, it asks us to select the two, this one and this one. Department and product and unpivot the columns. As a result, you're gonna get some messed up data and it doesn't work actually. So this is not the solution. The first one is not the solution as we have seen on the practice two. It's gonna create you messed up data set that we don't want to have. Select use first row as headers. So this one is excluded as a first step. So use first row as header. We might do that. If we do that, we are gonna have department product um, to, from 2016 to 2019. But whether it's it's the correct one or not, the select department product and unpivot other columns. Let me see whether it's gonna work. If we're gonna select this two, and instead of unpivoting the columns, we're gonna unpivot other columns. What we're gonna have here, you see, this, we're gonna have the department product, column three, and the name of the the years and the other stuff. Is it what we, we wanted to have? I don't think so, I doubt. So as a first step, this one is not correct, neither. Remain the attribute column to the year and uh, we don't have yet this, this uh, value and the attributes. And select use headers as first column. Um, this one usually we are doing that if we have all the headers assigned as a column name. Rename the attribute column to the revenue and the value column to year. So now let's do the first. Um, let's promote our first row as the column name. So what we're gonna do now? We are going to promote. Here we have the used first row as a header. Then what we're gonna do, we wanna have this one 
on one column and the numbers these values in the in the second color so we're gonna have the attribute and the value so to do that we should make sure that we are selecting this too let's try first uh the first version that we did on pivot columns and see what's happening as you see in the first uh one we are not gonna have we're not gonna have the what we wanted to have because it has created the attribute and value for days two that we didn't want to have instead we have we want to have for the years the attribute and values so that's why what we're gonna do we're gonna select again the department and product and what we're gonna do is unpivot other columns in this case we're gonna have the attribute is 2016 and the value is the is a uh, associated assigned value for the years then we are renaming the attribute to to the year and this one to the revenue okay revenue and that's it now we we can create actually the actual visuals filtered by its years and uh, the products let me show you what we're gonna have now on our our uh, power bi actually so the correct answer was saying that select the part and put other columns oops hold on hold on a second just a second so uh rename the attribute columns and revenue and select use first row as header attributes and attributes values well i think the the something is missing here because in the discussion too uh, because it's kind of voted the the correct answer is kind of voted so you need to vote for the correct answer for instance up this one was upvoted for 161 times and it says two three four is the correct sequence let me say the two three and four use headers as well use first row did it say two three i already I forgot two three four two three four exactly that's what we did actually you see the the answer wasn't as here but answer was the two three four that we did so um it's important to make sure that you're not um you're not messing up your data set because um not all the answers that you're getting on the exam topics are correct so that's why it's important to follow the discussions and uh, that's the that's uh, i think the best part of the exam topics because you are actually voting for the correct answers and the correct answers uh, uh and you're discussing why you think that's a correct answer if actually we we would go and see there are going to be discussions why they are thinking it's the correct answers so let's uh, see what's what's going on now let's create the um the 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 clustered column the clustered uh, bar, bar 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 charts uh, clustered column charts actually and add here some variables now let's say i would love to see on the x axis i would love to see the year and uh, then i would love to see the revenue and the on the y axis so it's gonna we're gonna have the results for the for each year as a sum of the revenue actually we could do not sum of the revenue but the revenue itself without here is it and if you want to filter for the department too you can easily filter for the department and let's add a filter filler the slicer here and add the department so i'm gonna have the department the slicer just quick department I, 
So let's see for the shoes. For the top. Okay, that's basically what I wanted to show you on this um, tutorial. And uh, we went through the uh, topics of the um, 